sorry, I'm not going to be restarting this video. Uh, I actually um, just started this reading and I cleared the air so I can actually do the 2021 uh, reading for cancer which is June 21st through June 22nd and I'm going uh, to continue, but the only thing I forgot to do was meditate <laughs> and let the cards speak to me. I mean, they're kind of speak to uh, speaking to me right now. I just need my intuition to be the instrument of, of the reading as, as well. But uh, if this doesn't resonate with anybody out there, don't worry. It may come to pass, I'd say, like uh, six months to, like, maybe three to six years, uh, um, hopefully around that range, but um, maybe a little sooner than, than that, let's hope. But the reason why I haven't been on uh, YouTube keeping up with the signs uh, reading is because I've been treating my eye and I don't want to get into too much detail why, but um, it's kind of like my eye kind of feels like there's something in it there is but there isn't and then I'm just treating that eye and until it heals well on its own um, I'll be back to, to normal hopefully and, and much rested and uh, because it's been exhausting me I mean taking care of this eye thing and <laughs> I uh, I just want to be able to to get back to being a little bit more on not just like the positive note kind of uh, readings, but 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 just like uh, I mean, if if the cards are negative, it's um, the universe wanting me to relay that message. It's not me wanting to be negative by any means. I mean, the universe uh, <laughs> doesn't care if, it, if it's right or wrong, black and white, um, positive, negative. It just is. It's just the message that I'm meant to give to the sign cancer. So, basically, um, I'll just meditate for a little bit while I'm getting this reading on.
Okay, so I've done my little meditation. It's a little bit longer than I usually tend to do, but let's get the reading on the road now. Um, so basically we have some water elements in here. Not much, but temperance is usually considered like a a uh, water sign, usually an angel with with wings balancing out waters with two cups. Um, Necronomicon is just a little bit um, darker and mysterious. This is reversed. This is the four of cups. Um, King of Cups, which is kind of similar to the Magician in my book. We got the Celebration Sisters right here. Three of Cups. I think that's all. But um, as I do the reading, we'll see what message the universe intends to send out to Cancer. And my best friend is also a, a Cancer the Crab. So basically, what I get out of this is that um, Cancer, you are very in tune with your intuition. I'm not talking about that you're going to be doing, like, um, anything with blood in your cup or anything like that. Uh, let's, let's just do, uh, something like, this is, this is more symbolic than literal here. But I kind of feel like, um, you've been told to do uh, certain things just based on your intuition. Um, like, even if it feels weird to do, you do it, but you don't have any logical explanation as to why it worked the way it did. And to you, it's, it's magic, and basically, yes it is, but uh, it's only because he took action on, on your part to make it uh, more magical in your life, but I kind of feel like there's like this certain kind of pull if you understand what what I'm saying kind of like a a magnetism of some kind uh, some she was why can't I speak tonight um, a magnetism of some kind like you're being pulled, it's kind of hard to explain that, un unless you've been tapping into your in intuition like I've been practicing. It's kind of like uh, you're, you're being pulled um, like kind of like a magnet, uh, kind of like if, if you're being told to steer right, you're going to steer right. If you're told to stay uh, going straight, you're going to keep going straight. Uh, vice versa in all of these directions. If you're, if you're told to go left, you're going to go left. So, but it's like this uh, magnetism that, that, that you feel. It's like this very strong pull that, that you feel within yourself. Like you're being attracted like a magnet. Opposites attract kind of thing. And it's a little bit difficult to uh, describe in plain English, but that's the best I can do because I felt that feeling before too. And water signs are actually considered to be very, very psychic. I mean, very, very sensitive and very, very psychic. I mean, uh, I mean, not as much as Pisces. I mean, Pisces are are more. Uh, sensitive, and, I, and I'm not saying one is better over the other. 
that's not how I mean to come across. It's it's just that maybe if your um, timing of of birth and stuff like that, if if you're a little more sensitive, and, and Pisces tend to be a lot more sensitive, um, they're usually uh, a lot more psychic. And that goes with any water sign. I mean, um, Scorpios could be just, um, just as, um, just as uh, uh, sensitive, but sometimes they have, you know what scorpions have, they, they have like that stinger, they, they, they have like that tail that um, numbs their, their prey, so uh, basically what, what I'm saying is uh, um, based on what, what uh, nature tells us, um, <laughs> uh, scorpions can be a bit, um, stubborn at, at times through life, uh, um, the way how scorpions, um, like, numb their, their prey, they, uh, they're just doing that out of survival, but, um, to use it as a metaphor, we're talking like they can be a little bit stubborn when, when they <laughs> um, need to be, I, I guess. It's, it's kind of like, no, I'm going to do it my way. But this is not what we're focusing on. I, I, I am focusing on the water elements, which is Scorpio, uh, Cancer, and and, and Pisces, uh, but um, I kind of feel that no matter what sign you're you're born under, water signs uh, tend to be uh, pretty emotional and very intuitive and very very psychic. And I'm not saying all the other elements can't be. I'm just saying that. Uh, water signs kind of tend to go with the flow and there may be times where I don't want to see changes happening myself but sometimes through life you have to go uh, through you have to go you have to flow with the current and, instead of sw uh, swimming against it This is kind of like a celebration card. I don't know if there's like a celebration that you're expecting to have. I mean, let's let's say for for a moment here. Um, July Fourth. Now that is worth uh, celebrating, but because of this uh, complex world that we're living in right now. I don't know if they would be celebrated as as we usually do on the as we normally do on like the the past years 2019 to I don't know however far back we want to go with um, the first of like when the Fourth of July was actually celebrated, but uh, yeah, I I kind of feel like there is something that you want to celebrate, but it's just kind of like, I kind of feel like there's kind of like a blockage. I don't know what that blockage is. I kind of feel like you may know the answer and only uh, you can break through this, this blockage. I, I kind of feel like if it's uh, something internal that you haven't broke through, that, that this wall that you have to break through, take a sledgehammer and um, basically just use your words if, if you're having trouble expressing yourself, let's say. But, uh, I, I think if you're the vocal type, I think you know what, uh, you need to do if, if there's a barrier. I, I, I 
kind of feel this is in between work and life. It's kind of confusing me at this point. It's not very clear, but I kind of feel like this is in between work and everyday life. So it's kind of in the middle. But whatever you need to do, go follow your intuition. You know what to do and express yourself. So, um, if there is a right way to do it, I would tell you right now, but I'm just uh, saying maybe just follow your intuition because you you know what you have to say without uh, saying it to be rude and stuff like that. I, I kind of feel I, I kind of feel like you're more of a... kind of feel like this is more like a mellow kind of feeling like you're a mellow kind of person you kind of like I don't want conflict but I I want to do the right thing as well so I think what I'm picking up from this card right here the six of swords on a reverse of the Necronomicon tarot and the uh Queen of Wands of the traditional uh, classic Rider Waite. Basically, you're not only stressed, I kind of feel like whatever work this is, I mean, I, I think stress kind of comes with it, but I, I, I kind of feel like that this um, uh, thing you're you're not being inspired. You don't have uh, the know-how or the um, um, the sting, the light bulb going off in your head like like you used to. Uh, I I kind of feel like there's all of these uh, inspirations out there. I kind of feel like in order uh, for you to feel inspired, I I kind of feel like you need to experience things through life, but because of the complexity that's going on you're not able to uh, do it as often as you like but it's sometimes uh, dreams can inspire you in in unusual ways I mean just take it from the Greeks or the uh, the Egyptians I'm, I'm just saying that dreams kind of inspire their writings and uh, their record keeping way back when. Um, so there's some not only inspiration if you're doing art, I mean if that's your forte, but it's just kind of like uh, let's say it's something to do with with technology and inventions uh, as well to lay out an example as well it's it's kind of like maybe pay more to uh, attention to your to your dreams and that way you will actually take action and get inspired uh, again I mean dreams yes it can be just dreams but sometimes dreams are just symbolic of kind of like saying hey this is a message for you pay attention and we're not fibbing you this is something that we want you to take action on and when you pay attention to your dream that can be magical as well because you took action on your part and things just sort of fell in your lap I mean not literally but it, it just seems that way because well you received the message you took action on it and voila you got <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got your magical experience in front of you saying, saying like yes I like that idea let's let's do it let's let's see your your blueprint that you could come up with uh, there's that blueprint idea right there if if you listen to my marvelous and paranormal um, podcast wherever you get it from either 
uh, type in marvelous and paranormal on on Google whether you type it in as uh, marvelous and paranormal uh, anchor or marvelous and paranormal podcast wherever you get your podcast from um, you know, please take a a visit with me there I, I talk about that blueprint thing I, I believe it was uh, Nikola Tesla and I, I believe it was uh, uh, a tarot reading that I was I was doing just to see if if he actually had a blueprint but I kind of feel like that he's just so inventive that creative ideas are coming uh, through him all the time that he's just able to just invent things without knowing how he's doing it. So basically, I don't think he had a blueprint. Even if he did, I, I think it would be lost through time anyway and not survive uh, through the years. I mean, let's let's be a little bit realistic. It's 2021. How how many times have we seen papers uh, survive decades later, like something from the 1700s, let's say. I mean, through this year, they would be kind of falling apart. They have to be preserved properly so we can actually document it and see it written. That's just an example, and I went on a tangent, but I'm, I'm supposed to be focusing on a reading, and I am, but it's just the universe saying I, I needed to put that out there. Two of Swords. Five of Wands. Basically, what it's saying is that you're not blinded by uh, what's going on around you. You you know that there's a conflict that's either inside of you or around your workplace or maybe through life as well whether it's like uh, a marriage or a partner and you can't find like the the balance uh, that you need to kind of like uh, separate um, your your work life and your love life and it's just complicating things that remember I, I said there was like a complication not just through this pandemic but uh, let's let's just say that I mean uh, I mean not what what's going on with right now but but, but just like uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like this is more internal than external, but I kind of feel like it's a little bit of both. I mean, not a hundred percent either way, but but it's just a little bit of both. But I kind of feel like work your uh, inside of yourself first, and then maybe secondly, um, like uh, work on balancing out the external problems that they're facing as as well and I think you will but but it's just that uh, I don't know I, I, I kind of feel like there's something missing and I need a clarification of what this could be I, I don't normally do clarification cards at, at this point but it's just a bit as confusing as me trying to 
interpret these things. I, I kind of feel like if 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 you know what what uh, what you must do, then I say go ahead and do it to balance everything out. Uh, I mean that's basically what I'm kind of feeling here. And here is the nave of discs. That's like the earth symbol. Nave of discs. And here's a two of wands. We we got the two of uh, two two of swords. I mean two of swords. So we got the two of swords in the Necronomicon, and we got the two of swords in the classic Rider Waite. So <laughs> that doesn't happen uh, by accident by by readings. It really doesn't. This is just by design. So let me see. Uh, two plus two equals four. And the knave of discs. It does even look like a pentacle or or a disc, let's say, but uh, whatever. I mean, this is the artwork they've chosen. But I kind of feel like you're not only seeking uh, revenge, let, let's say, and revenge is never the, the answer. I, let, let's put it out here. I mean, if, if you're literally uh, thinking re revenge, and I'm not talking like how she's uh, displaying the, the heart of, of the person that, that she killed. I don't mean actual violence unless, <laughs> gosh, please don't uh, let this uh, tarot reading uh, influence you on doing actual violence, please. I'm just interpreting the uh, the cards as I'm recording this. Uh, the less I need on my conscience right now as I'm inspiring somebody to do actual violence. Please don't do that. Um, just take it for what what you will. But but if if you're thinking uh, revenge uh, as as a payback of a, a nonviolent act, let, let's put it that way, then um, <clears throat> I say it's it's best that, that you don't uh, go through with that because I kind of feel like um, you're aware of what's going on but not able to use your eyes of what is actually going on around you. There are just some things that you don't know about this person's life of why they acted the way they did. I mean, you might have a justification of, of why you may want to go through with it, but you may end up regretting it. <laughs> That's all where I'm coming from. Two of Wands. And the Three of Swords. Now, this could be taken as a literal heartbreak. Like you um, went through a relationship that wasn't good for you. And let, let's say that this is a good card. Like, like, like you've been through heartbreak and maybe uh, through some say like oh what way you call it like uh, I'm losing some of the metaphors that I usually use. It's kind of like um, is it like Starcross uh, Lovers um, 3 
is it like the lover's triangle so, something like that it's it's uh it's something that you've gotten passed over and and uh, i mean you're you're done with it like 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 you're not looking back and and you've moved on it's it's like it was never meant for me and whatever this person uh, may have done f uh, to you or with you at, at the time it, it probably uh, isn't so much as as important because you you left that uh, past behind and you've learned to move forward now the temperance card right here and the four of cups reversed basically it's kind of sound like you know how to balance uh, of what kind of relationship you're looking for the Temperance is, is kind of like you're trying to find balance with, within yourself, which you've already found, but I kind of feel like that you're looking for, like, not like a straightforward re 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 um, relationship. I mean, you are, but, but I kind of feel like you you know what you want in a relationship, and it's kind of like you're, you're not looking for, like, a, a, a childish kind of like, a let's be girlfriend-boyfriend kind of thing, or whatever you identify um, your your new relationship status like let's say it's it's going to be more like uh, I, I I know what I want in in a partner and uh, let's try to go things. Let's try to go uh, through things that may be a bit slower paced and a little less fast paced at the same time and see where this goes and if you're instantly attracted to each other that, then you just know that you should stay together. So I mean it's not going to take um, three to four weeks man no I mean uh, keep dating and progress your your relationship yes but I, I, I kind of feel like um, don't misinterpret what what I'm saying but but I kind of feel like you still need to get to know this this person even if it's uh, like past three to four weeks no just understand that you still need to learn about everything about each other if then if you do actually click and you know a lot about uh, each other then you know your partner is a keeper then then you just need to uh, sort of see let's see where this goes and if it works great <laughs> even if you have to go through um, a few Um, dating circles, uh, lack of a better word, uh, to find the right partner, then that's what you have to do. I mean, I mean, I'm not talking like speed dating, but I mean, I don't think that's kind of happening anyway, what's going on right now, but I kind of feel like, um, this dating circle kind of thing, whether it's online or however, people are doing it uh, during the lockdown just understand that there is somebody who would, would get you and understand you eight of discs 
it's another earth uh, element. You know, some of these things, you know, with, with the fire element and with the air element and the earth element, you may uh, have some of those in your charts. I, I would recommend you finding like a um, free app on your phone or something like that to tell you what kind of um, signs that you are born under, uh, what, whether if it's like a water sign, a fire sign, an air sign, maybe you have a bit of everything in there, but I recommend checking that out if, if you have any of those elements in there. Um, judgment. Basically what it's saying is, is that uh, you've gone through bad experiences and not saying that no one ever has but I'm just saying that you've gone through a lot of experiences and you can only do so much of trying to hide your feelings of what kind of things that you may have done on your part that may be a bit on a negative side but you need to work on flipping this card over upright so you actually know what to do to move forward and I, I think you you have the know-how it's it's just been kind of a challenge for you is what I'm getting uh, from this and I kind of feel like you're almost afraid of being judged uh, uh, if if you say no to something I mean if if you are uh, saying no because XYZ and this person is is expecting you to say yes because of ABC or what whatever the reason it might be then yeah uh, I I would say you still need to work on yourself but at the same time I, I kind of feel like you have every right to sort of reject if this isn't what you want in a relationship. So I'm going to draw out two more cards based on the Rider weight and two more cards based on the Necronomicon. So we got the Three of Swords. Now Three of Swords is kind of like you're moving forward. Now here's what I see. Here's this Three of Swords in the Rider way. Here is this Three of Swords in the Necronomicon. Reversed. But basically what this is saying is that you're ready to move forward like I've uh, said before. It may be a slow moving pace but you are ready to move forward through like a new relationship. Maybe it's a new office or work or something like that but I kind of feel like that's what it's telling me. And here is the, what is it? Eight of Cups and um, this one is the Three of Pentacles, right or wait. And I don't think I saw anything about uh, discs in here anyway. I, I mean, not like Three of, of Discs, if, if that's what they're calling it in the Necronomicon. But I do see 
two apes here. So two eights in the Necronomicon right here. Hmm. Now, there you go. Focus camera. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, 8 plus 8 is 16, and then you um, add up the 16 and you got the 7. Basically, what, what it's saying is, is that you're a spiritual person and being guided by your spirit guides, angels, or uh, whatever you want to uh, call them, your ancestors, be, because they're, they're saying like, hey, pay attention to us because we're trying to help you out and I don't think you're paying enough uh, attention to what you are uh, so supposed to do and, and you are uh, very intuitive, but but there are just certain uh, signs that you're kind of missing, uh, even if your intuition, what, what's let's say, is a. Uh, I I don't want to say a hundred percent, but 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 you're very good at listening to your intuition all the time. It's just kind of like you're kind of missing uh, the mark of where you're supposed to go after that. And if you're trying to find a, a new lover, let, let's say, or you have a lover already, it's just you're missing a mark of what you're supposed to do. If it's something internal that you're supposed to fix, then you're missing out on a lot of signs of, uh, of, of that light bulb moment saying like, uh -huh, well, that's what I need to do. Uh, I, I know it takes practice, but at, at the same time, it's it's not um, an overnight uh, change either, but I kind of feel like that whatever uh, your ancestors, spirit guides, angels are trying to send to you, you're missing a mark on what it is you're trying to pay attention to, to make that internal and external uh, change. That's why I'm getting from it. So, hopefully, this resonated for somebody out there. So, this has been Magic 51. Have a good evening, good afternoon, good evening, um, good night. Uh, wherever you may be in the world, peace out.